Welcome everybody to the Kofi Annan Award for Innovation in Africa information session. Um, my name is Carlos Ferrari and I am part of the WFP Innovation Accelerator. Um, my panelists are gonna introduce themselves so I'll let the floor uh, to them. Good morning, good day, good evening, wherever you may be. I'm, I'm calling here from, from Vienna, Austria. Uh, my name is Adam Jurasovic. I'm, uh, I'm a policy advisor to the Austrian Federal Chancellor in, in uh, his strategy unit that is called Think Austria. And, uh, and we, we were lucky to be able to, to push this award ahead over the last year and a bit and, and to make it finally come true as, as of now. And I'm, I'm very excited to be here. I'm very excited to have the opportunity to talk to you very briefly, I'd say about the, the, the setting and the context of this award before I pass on to, to my colleagues from the Innovation Accelerator of the World Food Program, who are of course the ones who will operationally support us and, and do, let's say, the core of this initiative. Um, essentially, what, what, what Austria was aiming for was to deepen our relations with all African states, um, particularly on the notion of we've done, we, we've, you know, we're, we're doing all kinds of things, especially when it comes to, to uh, mutual development cooperation. But um, we felt that, of course, moving ahead, this needs to be complemented um, with a digital, digital component, which is also why we had uh, two, three years ago, in fact, um, uh, 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 a, a group of distinguished statesmen from both from the European Union and from, uh, from, from Africa and the head of the African Union uh, met in Vienna at what was called the High Level Forum Africa Europe, uh, actually under the heading of taking cooperation to the digital age. And there the idea was born to launch the Kofi Annan Award for Innovation in Africa. And what we were particularly keen on is to take, into, take much stronger into focus the, the concept of social entrepreneurship, knowing that complementing the work that, that is being done by Austria and other cooperation, uh, development cooperation agencies uh, in, with African states, we thought that there's a huge lever to be, to be uh, proceeded with by, by focusing on social entrepreneurs and their digital solutions to actual challenges. And I think that this is also very much in the legacy of Kofi Annan, who of course, with what was then called the Global Compact uh, before the Sustainable Development Goals, was really the first, the first person, the first statesman to, to try and connect the UN's development agenda with the private sector and with entrepreneurs. And so I think that um, we, together with the Kofi Annan Foundation in Gene Geneva, we're also, uh, we're also honoring the late Kofi Annan's legacy. Um, thematically, or, or yeah, in, in terms of uh, a theme focus, we've, we've of, of course decided because the pandemic has shown us uh, what entrepreneurship and digital solutions can do uh, to, to fight COVID-19. We've decided to focus uh, this award uh, on health and well-being, which uh, translates into Sustainable Development Goal 3. Uh, though I would add at this point that we have a rather holistic view of, of that. So um, we're, we're looking forward to many different kinds of social entrepreneurs with digital solutions and technology powered solutions applying. Uh, just briefly to the award itself, uh, I think it's very important to, to stress that uh, though we have some reasonably quite, quite large sized uh, prizes for our winners, we're, we're talking about 250 euros each in grants. We are also we were very um, we were very focused on making sure that it's a very comprehensive support. So we're not simply giving out money to to uh, grants to, to to our award winners, but rather we are also accompanying those teams and the final teams that get into the final round. We offer them a fantastic innovation bootcamp that my colleagues will talk about more, and uh, we we show them uh, we give them a lot of visibility for them and their solutions. Uh, culminating in what I think is quite exciting. We, we also have a high level jury uh, at the end of this process, let's say, uh, where we have also uh, distinguished members such as uh, Professor Mohammed Yunus, who, who brought us together today, uh, but also people such as the former CEO of Google, Eric Schmidt, and, and quite a few other very distinguished uh, judges, which um, 
uh, happy to support us and pr also provide their networks for, for our finalists. So uh, I, I think that this is a great thing. And as it says on, on, on the screen here, strong partnerships for strong impact. We, we're partnering with the Kofi Annan Foundation in Geneva, with of course the Austrian Development Agency uh, here back home in, in Vienna. Uh, and uh, I, I'd say most importantly with my colleagues from the World Food Program Innovation Accelerator, who I will now hand over to. Thank you, Adam. Um, moving on. Some of you may not know a, uh, a lot or a little bit about the WFP Innovation Accelerator. So we wanted to introduce ourselves and, and explain why or how is the WFP Innovation Accelerator involved. In general terms, uh, the WFP Innovation Accelerator sources, supports and scales high impact innovations, not only to disrupt hunger, which is the main mandate of WFP, but also uh, recognizing that in order to achieve uh, the SDG2, which is the main one for WFP, we also need to do some work in other SDGs. So throughout the years, we have uh, been working with different partners, uh, leveraging SDG 17, which is Partnerships for the Goals. Uh, we've built now a portfolio of different innovation programs around different SDGs, SDG 3, 4, uh, and many more. Uh, and here are some of the partners that we've worked uh, and we are working now and in the past. Uh, so as you see, we've worked with different UN agencies and other international organizations and, uh, and governments. Um, nowadays, we have 14 active programs with more than 120 ventures that have uh, gone through our experiences in different programs. So with that in mind, uh, let's talk about the Kofi Annan Award itself. Um, the Kofi Annan Award is going to be um, a four-phase uh, program or award. Uh, the first one is where we are in, which is the source uh, stage. Um, and uh, last week on November 3rd, we launched a Pan-African Call for Innovations. And the call is going to be open until December 1st, 2021, this year. So we have a little bit uh, less than four weeks uh, in order to uh, potential applicants to apply for the call. We're going to tell you in a little bit uh, what we're looking for specifically. But this call is open for um, inter social entrepreneurs in Africa working with digital and technology powered solutions. Uh, that enable the achievement of SDG3. So from the pool of applicants, we're gonna select nine teams that are gonna have the opportunity to be part of one of the WFP innovation bootcamps, which is basically a five-day intense program where we, um, through a network of experts, mentors, coaches, and different um, uh, workshops, we helped teams uh, strengthen their business model and also create a plan uh, of how they want or how they envision growing. And since this is an award that implies the uh, implies some funds, how are they gonna are they planning on using those funds and what are they gonna use them for? So during this innovation bootcamp, they the teams receive a lot of support, regardless of whether they receive the funds, uh, but they they receive a lot of support from us. And um, these nine teams receive the opportunity or end the, uh, earn the opportunity to pitch to the jury that Adam was mentioning before on May 6th. And from those pitches combined with a different uh, applications and documents that teams are gonna be required to submit, we are gonna select three teams uh, and they, these three teams are gonna receive 250,000 euros as grants. Um, and those grants are meant to uh, finance and support the, the implementation or the grow the growth uh, and implementation plans that uh, teams design in the in the bootcamp. And there's going to be a public award event on June 30th where we're going to um, announce the three winners. Now it doesn't end right there with with just giving out the grants. Uh, we as Adam was saying we, we, it's a very integral 
support that we're trying to uh, offer the, the team. So those three winning teams are also going to be part of one of WFP's uh, sprint programs, which basically is a 12 month uh, program where you're going to receive support from more experts and mentors in the WFP Innovation Accelerator Network, but also um, there's uh, the support uh, network of the award where you're going to have access to experts in different fields, in different uh, sectors uh, in the world. Um, so it's going to be a 12 month program where teams are going to get the chance to implement their plans and also receive a lot of support from different players in the social business field. Um, and that's going to happen between July 2022 and June 2023. So now I'm going to pass it on to my colleague, Shagun, who is going to tell us a little bit more about what we're looking for specifically from the ventures that can apply to this work. All right. Um, thank you so much, Carlos, for that uh, introduction. Uh, my name is Shagun Allen. I, I'm sitting in Munich with the WFP Innovation Accelerator. And like um, Adam mentioned earlier, we will be uh, working closely on the on operationalizing this award and program. Um, Carlos, can you go to the next slide? Yep. Thank you. So based of, of what we want to award, uh, what we are looking for, we are looking for ventures uh, focused on certain areas. And we are focused on social entrepreneurs are welcome to apply with digital technology powered solutions for people in Africa that we enable the availability and access to one, essential medicines and vaccines, essential healthcare services, mental health services, better prevention and prophylaxis, and improved financial risk protection. So if you have any venture that could increase the access to any of this area, uh, these are the kind of ventures we're looking for and are welcome to apply, or if you know any one that meets any, that serves any of these area, uh, you could also refer them. Next slide. Beyond a meeting or focusing on any of those areas, or one or one or more of those areas, we also have some certain criteria which we are looking out for, uh, for you to be a part of this program. Number one is you should be the venture should be for profit legal entity, incorporated at least two years. So that is it should be for profit and it should be fully incorporated, and the solution is anchored in at least one African country. So irrespective of a foreign venture of an European venture or, a, or US venture, you must have an anchor operation in at least one African country, one or more is welcome. And the app, applicant has existing contact and presence in the country of implementation. That is where your operational base is, where you're implementing or you plan to implement this project. You must have presence, local presence uh, is very important as a criteria. And solution must be addressing one or more areas of the SDG three, I guess indicator eight, which um, some of which I just mentioned in the previous slide as regards access to healthcare services. In addition to this, the innovation must have potential to reach a million people of total addressable market. So that is potentially this innovation should be able to reach a million people. And also you pay attention to global and social issues such as environmental protection, climate change, gender equality, and women empowerment and social inclusion. All of these um, social and global issues are also important um, selection criteria. And of course, at least have a strong proof of concept with initial traction and clear path to scale. That is the stage of your development of your solution should have a strong proof of concept and have initial traction and a path to scale. Next slide. So um, if you meet any of these above criteria, please visit www.kofianandaward.at for more information. Uh, there you get more information. You simply call for innovation to see more on the eligibility criteria. And most importantly, you could also apply via this website. And in case you know any venture that fits uh, this criteria, you could also refer them to this website or you can go to this website to fill a referral form for them. So that is all. Uh, thank you for listening. And now we will welcome any question from anyone. So if you have questions, clarification, or comments, uh, please feel free to ask.
Um, I'm seeing the questions in the chat. Is it necessary to pitch in a group or solo pitches are also accepted? Um, the reality is that teams approach the pitches in different ways. Um, normally, um, the teams are the ones that, that decide what's the most efficient way to do it. Um, regularly or more than a, a regular, we have solo pitches, but we are expecting a full team to be participating in the, in the bootcamp, um, regardless of, of how many people pitch in the end. Any more questions? Next question, what are the chances for entrepreneurs not based in Africa? That's a good one. <laughs> um, like we said in the, in, in the previous slides, uh, we are, we're looking for um, ventures that though may not be incorporated in Africa, um, they need to have some presence and uh, operations in uh, country in Africa. So entrepreneurs may come from different places in the world, that's for sure. But we do are seeking uh, ventures that are having an impact uh, in SDG3, target eight especially, uh, in Africa. So it, it, uh, to the question, chances for entrepreneurs themselves, I mean, if, if you have a uh, venture having an impact in Africa, you are welcome to apply regardless of your nationality but the impact or operations in Africa is a requirement. Probably, well, we wait for the next question. Just a reminder that the call will be open or is open since November 3rd and will be open until December 1st. If you um, think you have a venture that uh, fills uh, the criteria, then uh, you should visit www.coffeeandanaward.at and you will find the links to the documentation and application form you need to uh, fill out and, and submit electronically. And also if you have any other uh, ventures or solutions that you know of, and you wanna refer them, then you can also do that in that website. Um, next question, is it necessary to be only for the health and innovation? Um, I'm guessing um, this is referring to if, if it's just like a health innovation. Um, yes, um, the reality is that as we, we've explained uh, the focus of this year's award is on SDG3, which is uh, he good health and well-being. So um, the innovations that we are expecting to apply should focus on one of the five topics that um, that Shagun mentioned before. Um, and probably let me put them up again so people can um, see them one more time. So as Shagun mentioned, um, the topics that we want this venture to be focusing on is essential access to essential medicines and vaccines, essential healthcare services, mental health services, better prevention and prophylaxis, and improved financial risk protection. Um, again, if you uh, wanna go deeper into these areas, you can visit the website and you'll find more information uh, on, the, on the website and the application form. Do we support? Uh, there's a question on environmental causes. So what I would think or what I would say is um, whatever venture or whatever solution uh, we're looking at must find a way around health, uh, health and well-being. 
that being said, we are also considering part of our key consideration or strong proposition is for each of these ventures has to consider global social issues, which environmental causes or cause falls under. So this could be uh, a, a, an addition or a strong point for any venture we are considering. Any other question from? When does the application procedure begins or is there any deadline? The, the call is open already. So you are uh, able to already start submitting, filling out and submitting your application. The deadline is December 1st. So in a couple of weeks, and we advise teams to try to apply as soon as possible because the application, though it's not long, uh, you should take the time to really answer the questions thriftfully and thoughtfully. Um, and so you have until December 1st to submit it and we encourage teams to submit your applications as soon as possible. Hmm. There's another one. Can entrepreneurs at ideation phase join, apply? Do you want to take that, Chagun, or? Yes, so um, ideally, um, um, we, uh, we welcome application from ventures that are been around for a minimum of two years. Now, if this, um, if your innovation is new, but resident within an established organization, I've been around for a while, yes, of course, you can apply. However, if it is an entirely new venture, it's of a new company, well, yes, you're allowed to apply. While the sourcing and review team, we, we measure the application and gives the, the review or the sourcing criteria, and then we decide if, if to move the application forward. But yes, you are welcome to apply, obviously. There's another one that says, is it possible to extend existing startups in Africa, which is based on another country? If I understand the question correctly, um, probably this is about scaling or growing into other countries within uh, the African continent. If that's the case, um, yeah, it, it, it definitely could be an option depending on, again, the maturity status or level of the, of the venture. Um, each venture has different needs and, and, and the, the program will um, guide and tailor uh, the support to these teams depending on their stage. Um, so if, if that's uh, the, the purpose of, of growing into another country with an already proven solution, definitely possible. Um, as long, again, as long as there's uh, proven evidence traction of uh, impact in Africa, um, you should qualify. And we encourage you to apply. Um, there's another one that says, do you support uh, networking for the newcomers in the startups? I'd be happy to take them on. Go, go for it, Adam. All right, uh, so um, when, as we, as I said at the beginning, we really thought about having comprehensive support. So not only do we have grants, not only do we have a boot camp and a support program by the World Food Program Innovation Accelerator, what we did on top of that is that we created a support network of, at the moment, we're looking at around 35 uh, uh, basically business partners, investors, uh, financial experts, uh, industry experts, mentors. Uh, different uh, accelerators uh, who we've drawn into uh, a network uh, around the award who, who've already met, in fact, and they were very excited uh, about the prospect of soon meeting our, our teams. And, and we are actively, we will actively 
uh, promote uh, sort of matchmaking events and get togethers uh, at, a, at a later stage for the fi finalists of this award with our support network. Thank you, Adam. Um, there's another one that says, how many, how many programs do you accept at the final stage? Um, so we're assuming programs meaning teams. Um, um, yeah, from the pool of applicants, we're gonna select nine teams that will be invited to participate in the innovation bootcamp, which is again, a five day of intense support from the WFP Innovation Accelerator and many other experts in the network that Adam was just mentioning. And then from those nine teams that pitch to a jury, we're gonna select three teams, three teams that will uh, be awarded the 250,000 euros grant. So three teams are the ones that go into the final stage and get the one year support uh, in an acceleration program. Any further questions? Please keep them coming. Um, this one probably it's, uh, we addressed in the beginning, uh, but in case somebody missed it, uh, regarding pitching in a group or single pitches, um, again, uh, the part of the bootcamp will be uh, a pitch training uh, teams can decide how they want to do their pitch. Um, we have solo pitches or uh, partner pitches or group pitches. Um, so the pitch itself, it can be uh, just one person. However, the, we, are, we are expecting a full team to participate in, during the bootcamp. We have learned over the years that when teams participate in the bootcamp, it's a more useful and enriching experience for them as every member of the team uh, can bring to the table a different perspective and a different uh, you know, a vision. Um, so it, it is important that during the bootcamp, the full team is participating in the, in the process. However, the pitch is open to um, whatever the team thinks uh, it's more adequate. Uh, we have another question. Is it possible to know uh, the basis of what, how you select the projects? So the, I, I'm guessing this is goes to um, the criteria. Um, yeah, we, we can definitely say that. Um, in fact, if you go to the website, you'll find um, the criteria that we will be using. And uh, there's, there are five criteria that we use, which is uh, first, uh, how innovative um, is, the, um, is, is the venture? Um, what potential do they have to um, scale. Um, so where does the venture sees uh, themselves growing uh, to? And um, do they have a clear path um, uh, to do so, right? Um, number three, I'm trying to make sure that I use the right words so I don't confuse you guys. Uh, let's see. Team, or the team itself. Yeah, the team. Yeah, that's true. The team. You can you can go ahead, Shag. <laughs> yeah, so it's it's um, impact and scalability, like Anas just mentioned, the innovativeness of the solution, the business model, um, also um, the team. Is that four or five? Impact and scalability, team, innovativeness, business model, business model and traction. On track from this. And I think the next question was who be the jury? On the jury. I don't know if, yeah. yeah, yeah, I'm happy to. So the jury, just to just to remind you, we have a, a multi-level uh, process, right, of selection. Uh, the jury is at the very end of it, where we have nine final teams who pitch in front of them 
Um, and three winners are then picked by the jury. Uh, we are going to, to publish uh, the jury prominently on the website and elsewhere in the coming days, but I'm happy to tell you now who, who's on it. Um, so I've already mentioned uh, uh, Professor Mohamed Yunus, uh, who uh, the, the founder, of course, of, of Grameen Bank, uh, and Eric Schmidt, the former CEO of Google. Um, we also have the executive director of the World Food Program, David Beasley, Mr. David Beasley, uh, Bar Baroness Valerie Amos, who is the um, who now is uh, the head, the master of a college at Oxford University, but was previously the 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 eighth uh, UN. Uh, um, God, now I need to translate. Uh, emergency relief coordinator. Um, we have Kojo Anan, who is the son of uh, the late Mr. Kofi Anan, who uh, himself is a Ghanaian Nigerian businessman. Uh, we have uh, Mr. El Hajj Asi, who was until recently the head of the ICRC, of the International Red Cross and Red Crescent Society, and now chair of the Kofi Annan Foundation. Um, we have Antonella May Pochtler, who works as the special envoy to the, the Austrian Chancellor and was uh, for many decades uh, in, in global leading positions at the Boston Consulting Company. Uh, group. We have uh, Ms. Yasin Jibo, who is the founder and CEO of Speak Up Africa, which some of you might, not, might know. They do also fantastic things in digital health. Uh, Ms. Bogolo Kenevendo, who was until recently the Minister of Industry in Botswana and is a renowned economist. And lastly, uh, Mr. Ludwig Prinz von Bayern, who uh, is an IT entrepreneur in Bavaria and Kenya who uh, will also join our jury. So that's, that's a, a, a quite a high level jury, I would say, with, with some very strong networks that they're very happy to, to use to help, our, to help our teams uh, scale up their solutions across Africa. Thank you, Adam. Um, I think there's another question. Um, what are the legal documents necessary to apply? So if you, I can give you the list right now, it's, it's, it's quite a list, um, but if you go uh, online to www.coffeeandanaward.at, you can find uh, the list in the call for innovations, but basically uh, we need um, a bank details, uh, we need proof of registration from the company, um, some sort of extract uh, from a business register in the country where you are incorporated. Um, also tax registration numbers and registration, um, articles of incorporation, if available, some proof of credit worthiness, um, annual accounts of the venture for the last two years. Uh, and eventually we will require police records and the CVs of the um, team that is involved in the venture, whether it's founders or um, just executives in the venture. But again, if you um, want to go through the list in detail, you can visit the, the website and um, then you'll find the, the, the documentation that is required. While we wait for the next ones, I just one more time, I'm going to repeat it for the latecomers. Um, the call is open at the moment, so please apply. You have uh, until December 1st, which is our deadline. So in a little less than four weeks, the call is going to close. Um, again, if you think that you uh, fulfill all the criteria that we are discussing now. Um, go ahead and we encourage teams to apply as soon as possible. Um, and, uh, and, you, and gather all the information. It's gonna take you some time, not too long, but some time to just think through the, through the application and submit it with enough time. 
you have until December 1st, and you should visit www.coffeeinanawork.at for more information and details. We do have other questions. Let's see. Um, do, you, do you have any future plans to expand? And I think uh, he means outside of Africa. Adam, I don't know if you want to. Uh, well, I think the, the motto is never say never, right? But uh, yeah. <laughs> for, for the purposes of this award and this session, um, this is an award that uh, we've uh, we, we that is uh, specifically uh, dedicated to to uh, all 54 African states. And uh, in future, let, let's see what's in store. I mean, I, I, I'm, I'm hopeful that, of course, once uh, we, we do this and, and everyone sees what, what great ventures we, that come out of it and how they get scaled up, that we will have others uh, join us and do similar initiatives. There's another question that says, do you support at critical phases if it happens after the first year? I'm not entirely sure what it's meant by critical phases. Um, but again, as a matter of requirements, we do require uh, teams or ventures to be incorporated for at least two years, even though the solution may be a little bit uh, not not as old as two years, but but the venture has to be uh, incorporated for at least two years. Um, and again, if the solution or the project itself has a little bit less than two years, but it's at a maturity uh, level that fulfills the criteria, then then you should apply. Um, then the next question, it says, is urban mobilization included? And in this, again, like Adam said, uh, in this court or this time, we are supporting ventures focusing on SDG3, uh, specifically target indicator eight, which is good health and well being. So um, those are the areas of focus for this year's so work. I would say if there's a, a, demonstra a demonstrable uh, link to that goal, right. um, then we encourage you, of course, to apply. And, and if, if we can see that link and, and there's some that you, you can make a good case, then, then please do so. Yeah, totally agree. Okay, so it seems that we ran out of questions, but that was that was great. Um, I just want to thank everybody for joining, and just again repeat one more time: application are open. Please go to www.coffeeandannaward.at. Um, you'll find more information about the award, about the process, about the eligibility criteria, selection criteria the application form. Um, so if you are a venture that fulfills the criteria and has the right focus, uh, SDG3, target indicator eight, good health and well-being, then uh, please apply as soon as possible. You have until December 1st, where we are gonna close uh, the applications. And um, if you also know of a venture um, that uh, can or should apply, uh, please feel free to either share the site with them or also in our website, you can go to the referral form and send us the, the information and we'll be happy to reach out and, and invite the ventures to, to apply. So again, www.coffeeandonaward.at. 
um, and we're looking forward to your applications. And thank you very much, Carlos, Adam, and Segun for this wonderful workshop. I think people are much interested and hopefully joins. Best of luck, guys. Perfect. Okay. Thank you so much. Thank you. Have a great night, everybody, right. or day. <laughs> Have a good day, good night, and apply. <laughs> apply, yeah. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye. -bye. Bye.